In this video, I'll show you how to create an intuitive WooCommerce checkout upsell. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for example, if I quickly add this to our basket, let's head over to the checkout page. Okay, and then here we're displaying two different offers. Okay, so first we're displaying this pop-up upsell offer here. Here we've set this pop-up offer to display after five seconds. So we can select no thanks to this one. But then here we've also got this additional upsell offer, okay? So instead of just buying the book, the customer can buy the book and the audio version, okay? So this is our upsell offer. And if they select yes, then it will basically replace this item in their basket with this upsell offer here, okay? So let's accept this offer, okay? And here we've got this upsell here. So we've kind of instantly provided a better experience and a boost our AOV in the process as well. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Throughout this video, I've got the free version and the pro version active. So before we actually create our upsell, let's first actually specify which product we want to create an upsell for, okay? So here I've got a few products based on this My Awesome book. So we've got the My Awesome book, My Awesome audio, and also the t-shirt as well. And I've also created a bundle. So the idea is whenever customer purchase, for example, the book or even just the audio version individually, we want to upsell them into purchasing the bundle, okay? So let's actually change this price and let's give, let's say the bundle is a hundred dollars. Okay. So this bundle will be our upsell product. Okay. Now that we've got our upsell product defined, so let's head over to AIO checkout or all in one checkout and we'll create our upsell. Okay. So to create our upsell on the checkout page, we'll go ahead and click campaigns here and then we'll click create new offer. And then we'll just give this a name. So we'll just name this one. It's just for internal purposes as well. Okay, and this will be a order bump style, okay? I'm gonna show you first um, how to display it in an order bump format and also how to display it in a checkout pop-up format, okay? So let's click add offer here and then let's go ahead and add our awesome product bundle. Okay, so it's that product there. So let's click add. Okay, so that's added fine. Um, here we've got the regular price and the sale price. We can also add a discount as well. Um, so for example, we can give a 15% discount based on the regular price. Okay, so we want to select replace with cart item here. If a customer purchased this My Awesome book and they opt for our upsell bundle, we want to replace this My Awesome book with our upsell bundle, okay? And we're going to display this offer below the order summary. We'll give it a rule priority of one and then we'll head over to design. Okay, title, we can leave it as default. So here it will show the product title. We can add a description. Okay, then we can add our call to action. Okay, and then for conditions, we wanna display this offer whenever the customer purchases an item from our book category, for example. Okay, and then we'll just hit save. All right, so that's saved fine. So now let's go ahead and actually test this, okay? And then let's add it to our basket. And then let's check out. Okay, and here we can see this My Awesome Book um, bundle upsell. And again, if the customer accepts this offer, then it should replace this items within their basket with this more expensive upsell, okay? So let's go ahead and accept this offer. Okay, and here you can see the item has been replaced. And now I'll show you how to create a checkout upsell in a pop-up format. Okay, so let's head over back to our dashboard. Then we'll click on campaigns. And I've already got a pop-up offer running, which is this one here. So essentially what you'll do is you'll click create offer. And then for the type, you'll select checkout offers here, okay? So let's go ahead and edit this one. So just like before, we'll choose our product. And again, we can choose the behavior here. So we can choose to add it as an additional product or replace it with a product that's already in their basket. 
So for the display, we can display it instantly when a page loads, or we can display it in a few seconds. OK, so for example, here we're waiting five seconds before we present customers with this offer. Again, just like before, if we navigate over to the design section, we can customize the title, subtitle, of course, the actual product title here as well, description and also the add to cart button. OK, similar for the condition, we can specify our condition here. Once you've configured and saved your checkout pop-up offer, once the condition's been met, the customer will be able to see this upsell offer on the checkout page. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.